Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you my first ever auto art Lamborghini Aurus. Now, the reason why I have to go with auto art is because I love Lamborghini Aurus and also the, um, the 118 skills is only available in auto art. And Buago and Maisto and their somehow their skills is definitely wrong. And it's definitely it's not 118 skill. And it's smaller somehow. It's a 120 is uh, the actual skill size. So because of that, I have no choice to go with auto art. And also, I saw a couple of other YouTube video on channels and showing these car cars. And so I look at it and then I asked the guy and you know what's the weight, and the guy said uh, 1.1 kilo. I said, what? 1.1 kilo? Are you kidding me? Are you sure? This is more like a die cast, you know, uh, weight here. Uh, so I asked another channel and then, you know, what's the weight? And the guy said, it's about 900 grand. Huh? 900 grand as well? Wow. Okay, two people are saying the same thing. So, yeah, it must be right. So I asked the, uh, finally, the Alan Prestige, uh, who is the UK's, you know, retailer. And the guy said, it's about 1.1 kilo as well. I thought, wow, this is ridiculously, you know, too good to be true, I suppose. And so I gave them a benefit of the doubt and then I decided to go for it. So here we are. So I found this one from the eBay, from the UK seller. Um, so he gave it to me on the uh, special discounts and uh, I managed to get it for about £180 at the end. The reason why is when I open the box, this little winged uh, side mirror come off. And I haven't even done anything yet. The side mirror come off from the box, so he gave me ten pound off. So basically, ended up with one hundred eighty pound. Um, yeah. So and people are selling it for over two hundred thirty pound. So that is insane amount of money. That is crazy, right? Uh, something that is plastic. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't pay for that kind of money. You know, I don't care how good the details are. I mean. Obviously, I don't know yet, so I just open the box. So, but my first impression is, I don't feel like this is 1.1 kilo. The whole box feels very light in my hand. When I take out the car, in my hand, I can tell you that this is more like 700 grand probably. It's more like a Maisto Lamborghini in a way. So, yeah, I don't believe that this is one kilo. But I'm gonna prove it to you later on on the scale. But I can tell you right now that. I have been told a lie, okay? So I am not impressed with that from, from the start. But anyway, I'm gonna give this guy a car a benefit of the doubt. Now this is a box, by the way, right? So the auto art typical box. Now there is a window style as well. The window style one, a cheaper one. Now this one is a phone box, so this is supposed to be premium one. Now, what the hell is this? Composite die cast model car. What the hell? Why do they put a die-cast word in there? Okay, I don't understand that. Now, I Google a little bit about how these uh, composite models are made of, and one of the uh, website mentioned a little bit about how they're made. Um, I kind of understand a little bit. It's sort of like uh, they mold the plastic and then they use their die-cast, uh, thin die-cast layer inside there to keep the frame, to keep it in a position. Otherwise, uh, they will they will snap off and they, they just gonna break or something so that's why they have to put this um, die cast frame in there maybe that's the reason why they put this word but it's definitely misleading you see because it's not a die cast car it's a plastic car right why can't they just say the composite plastic car right but <laughs> I don't understand why they do that Anyway, so let's get a closer look on this car. Now, first impression, the paint job is looking good on the surface, all right, as always. Wait, hold on. That's not true. And you can see a little bit blue in the uh, bonnet. Um, right, but it's a very minor, so I can forgive for that, I suppose. Uh, I have auto R signature, uh, you know, Aston Martin 177 before. Uh, I know that the paint job on the surface is amazing, but in a hidden area, they are not. They kind of like cut costs and cheapskate. Uh, I hate those companies, you know, like uh, they, they, if you can't be bothered to do it, don't do it. If you're going to do it, do it properly. That's what I would say. Right? If you're going to charge people over 200 pounds, make it damn sure that it is worth it. <laughs> 
you know, uh, if you can't, uh, I, I don't know, I'm not going to know, anyway. Right, let's look at this one, right, so the gap here, they said that another thing that they claim is the die cards are very difficult and they have a bigger gaps and seal and all this stuff, but composite one has a better, you know, uh, close gap and finer line, apparently. Now, I don't think that is true either, because here is okay, thin gap, thin gap, but here, definitely not it's quite thick you can't even put my nails in it i can put my nails in here look right that's how big that gap is that is not acceptable for something that price that big you know that expensive and also it feels very light i have to say anyway so it does have a nice uh, wheel spin and good suspension kick and you got p0 on on the tires and you got parking sensors you got radiator grills and you can see through everything which is nice that's how it's supposed to be for that kind of price point and uh, the light is a bit weird i don't see any uh, matrix led light here it's just all black and there is no internal lines or anything in here which is kind of disappointing i think that in the real car they have the little uh, lines in here for the matrix led light because i own the audis i know what the matrix led looks like you know but this one doesn't have this, which is again uh, disappointing uh, in terms of light detail. But the uh, the bumper and the grill, the front detail is really nice. Uh, I, I can give them the score for that. Now let's open the engine. Um, let's see the engine detail. Now they have a strut design, which is good. And that's how it's supposed to be for this kind of price point. And then you got some decals and some logos, a V12 and stuff. But the engine is seems to be quite basic. It does have some kind of deep to it, some depth in here. Uh, but uh, you can see the uh, some in interior uh, pipes and stuff in there as well, which is okay. But nevertheless, this is more like a almost real quality for the engine detail. Better than Norav and Buago for sure. But the engine detail is not gonna be good as LCD. Okay, LCD engine details are the best ever. I mean, uh, you should watch my Bugatti uh, or McLaren, McLaren, you know, or even Land Rover, right? Their, their engine details are a lot better than this. And this is not that impressive. It's okay, like almost real, but not to the top end like an LCD. You know, this is the thing about people and you know, why people love auto art. I just don't see it. You know, and maybe they're used to it, or maybe they, they buy so many of them, so, you know, they get to know the company, I suppose. But in my point of view, for something that costs over 200 pounds, and with a very basic detail, with all the gaps here, and the paint chipping off, uh, that is not a good start, okay? Um, right, let's open the uh, inside here. And... Yeah, this is a bit thin as well. The glass is quite thin. I have the Shuriko Porsche uh, Cayman GT. That was a much thicker plastic on the glass. This is quite thin. And also the speaker details are painted actually. It's not a separate plastic piece that actually attached to it, which is a lazy effort. Again, this is all painted. And then, oh my god, there is no carpet either. What the hell is this? No carpet. Why? <laughs> oh my god. This is a, supposed to be like a 250,000 pound, you know, Lamborghini Aurelis. Uh, supposed to be luxury sports car. Um, they have a carpet in real life as well. But in this one, doesn't have carpet. That is unbelievable. But they do have the good interior in terms of buttons and all the steering wheels and stuff like that. That's about it. But it's really not that impressive uh, because nice, nothing actually can move, not like an LCD either. The seat cannot move, the glass bar cannot move, nothing actually moves, basically. Everything just bare minimum efforts to make it work. Wait, hold on. Why do I have all the blue powders on the table? Look at that. Where is it coming from? Okay. Man, I just opened the box and uh, it's already have so many powders on the floor now. I haven't even done anything. Ah, I know why. Look at this. See? 
white color here this is where the paint is being chipped off and also inside here do you see that all this area is all come off that's why I have all the uh, blue pieces on the floor this is ridiculous oh my god not impressed or happy all right let's open it back again no carpet um, the sea has a little bit of carpet around it but that's about it sea belt is there mm. yeah I'm not very impressed here guys uh, I don't think this is worth over 200 pounds for sure um, anyway right let's see anything else I can find here um, you got parking sensors which is nice the exhaust pipes are really good I like the detail of this quite deep it looks like a real exhaust pipe and I like the chrome effects around it as well which is really cool all the mesh are see-through and you got heat line as well uh, let's open the back wait what oh man it doesn't even stays up come on stay there don't move okay you got carpet that is nice oh uh, see it doesn't even stays up oh my lord <laughs> Um, yeah, this one, does it open? Nope, nope, nothing, open. Okay, let's see underneath. Okay, underneath is not bad. I like the, all the drive trains and brake, uh, not brake, um, suspensions and all the, all the details underneath the exhaust pipes and everything. Uh, right, okay. So my final summary for this car Definitely not worth the money if I you ask me. Okay, so if this is like a hundred pound Yeah, I'll go for it. Okay, a hundred pound for composite model with some minor floor No carpet big gaps in the door The back doesn't stay. It's always falling down So a hundred pound definitely fine. No problem. Okay, if you can get less than a hundred pound definitely is is a bargain Okay, but 150 pounds, maybe a little bit pushing it. Okay, fine. If it's a top notch quality with no paint problems or nothing falling apart and everything's working, yeah, 150 pounds definitely. 200 pounds. Now I'm thinking twice now. Okay, over 230 pounds? Are you freaking kidding me? Right? I'm not paying something that is come out with a composite model that weighed about what? I say about 700, 750, I would say. Yeah, let's check it out. See whether these guys are correct. 750. Okay, there you go, folks. I am not lying. Okay, 750. Now, one people say to me on a YouTube channel and they say it's 1.1 kilo. Now, this is definitely a lie. Okay, I, I just don't like, don't like this kind of thing. It's absolutely not true and as you can see from here from my channel um, so I'm sorry guys uh, I don't agree with auto art and I'm not buying any more auto art after this and this is the last ever auto art now I did say to you guys that I will try to get an auto art and composite model and so that I know what it looks like and now I actually own one and I pay for the reasonable amount and I actually not that impressive. I mean, I'd rather go for similar um, kind of money. I'd rather go for the Confine Rose Wise again because they're really good. LCD model, any LCD model, definitely worth it. I would go for any of them, right? I'm even thinking of buying more the Land Rover and McLarens and Pagani in different color even because I like LCD so much. And uh, Kyosho is also another good brand and they do have the uh, good die cast model. Rosewise Kyoshos are really, really awesome. So there are a lot of good brands out there better than Auto Art. They are made of full die cards over one kilo right and they have a lot of moving part paint job is awesome both inside and outside right and the engine detail is impressive and all the and inside detail is also really cool but auto art yeah it just overpriced and it's definitely not worth it in my opinion 
But if you like it, well, go ahead, go for it. You know, it's your money. I'm not gonna say anything, right? So it's up to you. But I'm just saying from my point of view, this is definitely not worth the money. So thanks for watching. I'll、uh, see you in the next video. Cheers.